I think one of most difficult things for people to do in life is to be aware of their own nature. We spend copious amounts of time trying to not be alone with ourselves because we fear the emotions, guilt, and shame that lurk beneath the surface. We are afraid because we have not developed the understanding and tools to handle such things. And because of this, we suppress it until the emotion forces itself out. What we first must do is come to the understanding that many of the things we believe to be true are not. We must ask ourselves where awareness comes from. What is the source of our existence? An arm cannot experience its own armness. A stomach cannot experience its own growls. A hand cannot experience its own touch. So if the body is not the source, then we must assume that the mind is the source of our being. Yet a thought cannot experience a thought. A mind cannot observe its own thinking. It is something higher that is observing the entire system. It is a field of awareness that is experiencing it all, an observer. That is what you are, the field that observes this body and world we inhabit. With this understanding, we see that we cannot experience a cold, a broken bone, or a fever. These things are not really what we are experiencing. We are experiencing a set of sensations and feelings which we label. For example, someone may feel they are stuck in fear. But what they are really feeling is a certain set of sensations. Clammy hands, a tight stomach, a racing heart, a lump in the throat. Yet for someone else or in another situation, these same sensations would be called excitement. So it is not really fear. It is the sensations we call fear that trouble us. If we are feeling anxiety or fear, we must first be aware of what we are really experiencing. Stop labeling it. Stop trying to change it. Focus on the sensations without trying to do anything with it. Ask yourself, can I deal with a lump in my throat? Yes. Can I deal with my heart racing a bit? Yes, I can deal with that. Can I handle the tension in my stomach? Yes. We begin to see that we have dealt with much worse than these set of symptoms and that they are really nothing at all to deal with. What we cannot deal with, however, are the thoughts that stem from emotions. One fear thought can generate hundreds more. The true source of thoughts, however, is emotions. So we must not focus on dealing with the thoughts, but the emotions. So we break down what it is that burdens us if we must. But in reality, all it takes is the understanding that once we let something be and don't try to change it, the sooner we will be rid of it. Negative emotion wants an outlet. It does not want to be with you, just as much as you don't want to be with it. The attitude one must have, however, is one of indifference. If you are feeling anxiety, you say, I don't care if you tag along, but there are things I have to do today. We do not allow the feeling to control us. All fears really come down to a fear of death. For example, if my car breaks down, then I won't be able to get to work. And then what? Well, then I won't be able to make any money. And then what? Then I won't be able to have a roof over my head. And then what? Then I will be on the street. And then what? Then I'll be alone and probably starve to death. And then what? Then I will die. If we play this thought game with every fear we have, they all come down to a fear of death. While nothing can truly prepare us for death, Letting go is all that is required. We relinquish all fears and emotions to God. We accept that the world is beyond our control, nor would we desire control of everything if we could. Imagine controlling your heartbeat and digestion. Imagine having to control your immune system and nerve impulses. You would be dead in a minute. Every day we are living in faith. Faith that our bodies will work as they should, that the sun will rise and that the birds will sing. We have faith that the ground under us will not collapse, or that the people who make our food will not poison us. If we live in fear thoughts, if we live in fear of death, we are not truly living in reality. All you have ever known is existence, and it is all you can ever know. You will not be damned to sitting in a dark room for eternity, nor can you be separate from God, unless you make the decision to do so. All things play out as they should. It is the ego that convinces us otherwise. The ego takes the credit for our safety and success, but it really does nothing more than remind us of what needs to be done to survive. However, even that can be debated. If we do not eat, someone else will remind us. If we do not bathe, someone will surely tell us. Even our deaths are decided. No amount of preparation or worry can change that. Surrender your control to something higher than yourself. Be present. 
and be with yourself. It takes practice, but I know you can do it. <laughs> 